This is Twit. The one agency that is not uh, eviscerated is apparently the IRS. They've just purchased an NVIDIA supercomputer. Uh, according to The Intercept, the IRS is set to purchase the NVIDIA SuperPod AI supercomputer. 31 servers with Blackwell, those very fancy giant Blackwell processors. All of this to enhance the IRS's machine learning capabilities for fraud detection and taxpayer behavior analysis. Well, you know, it's a, it's a revenue generating arm of the government, right? Yeah, and we have to pay our taxes. You know, it's the price we pay for a civilized society. Yeah. Um, you know, 248 Blackwell processors, to be exact. They finally got them. They were delayed for so long. But yeah. yes. Uh, a single SuperPod system is uh, $7 million. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure. The exact cost is not specified uh, in the acquisition document. Um. So maybe it's only seven million dollars. It will feature enhanced memory upgrades. Yeah, you want to get all you know, sixty-four gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lot more than that. Uh, providing substantial computing power for the IRS Research Applied Analytics and Statistics Division (RAS) to operate large-scale machine learning models as part of their compliance data warehouse project. I would love so, to see it confirmed if they're actually purchasing these for ownership in their own data centers. I, w because of the way the things have gone, pushing towards private industry, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a contract in which mm. they're purchased through another entity to ah, have this. A third and party. Then, then, and then, then they, they lease have it. access to it. Right. Yeah. And so basically, I don't know if we're for this, this is going to be an XAI's data center. Right. Um, and no, it's going to be installed at the IRS computing center in Martinsburg, West Virginia, just up the road from okay. you. Okay, good. All right. That makes me feel a little better. At least we'll own this. Yeah. I um, wonder how long it'll be relevant for, but yes, this sounds great. The IRS has 68 different AI related projects underway. I, it makes sense. If you have to process tax returns for hundreds of millions of people, uh, it's, you're going to need some pretty hefty computing. Well, I mean, on the other hand, they did have the IRS system, which was a, a free tax return, essentially, um, where, you know, they would estimate your taxes and send it to you. And that was one of the first things that was killed. Um, it's a rather you odd know, system in its Elon way. Elon said that. I saw his uh, X post. Hmm. So I wasn't sure if he meant the free file system. Remember that the yeah, IRS trialed the this one. last year uh, so that you don't have to pay $60 to TurboTax. It's free. Except yeah. as soon as you want to file, you have to pay them for the free tax return. So uh, the the government trialed this last year to great uh, 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 applause. And uh, they were going to do it this year. As soon as I saw Elon say it's, he said deleted, I checked and I was able to do it. Oh, right. So I don't, this is the problem. It's, uh, I don't even think Elon knows what's deleted and what's not. <laughs> the, the free file system, the last time I checked, which was a few days ago, is still up and running. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It's the way that everyone else in the world does it. Every mostly. country. Yeah. I mean, it's. I, I've. I had never had to file a tax return until I came to the U.S. And it was just like, it's taken out your paycheck. Easy job done. Nothing to but worry about. You don't about. understand Americans, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Americans, I've been over here fifteen years. I think I'm getting there. <laughs> we don't trust the government to tell us what we owe. <laughs> we got to figure that out for ourselves. Uh huh. Right. I think Americans really, I mean, in you know, in Sweden, you get a postcard that says, hey, we took the money. Thanks so much. <laughs> See you later. Well, in Norway, all public ta all tax returns are public. So you can oh, see wow. exactly what everyone earns. And that goes oh, that from political leaders all here. the way down. And yes, that would never play here. And I'm not quite sure it would work, to be honest. But it's an interesting idea. I talked to Matt Cutts about this specific topic um, when way back when he was in charge of what is now called Doge. Um, and you, it was then it was the U.S. Digital Service. US it didn't Digital have Service. a meme name. Yes. Yes. And um, he, for this issue, he said that he personally was really trying to champion this to happen and that they were working on building APIs into different port parts of the government so that they could, if if a law did change to, to kind of like do the pipe work piping to, to bring that all together. 
so my guess is that they're they might be ready for this for to be able to to do audits with a, a large uh, supercomputer to figure out what's what's missing, what's not, which would be a good thing for some. But then there's a um, with the way that this administration selectively applies the law to who they feel is the people that don't agree with them, I would be afraid of it being weaponized in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, um, they're talking about, oh, the smartest people in the, in the room, but having access to that amount of data is distinctly worrying without any controls or background checks. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.